Hey, this is Bruce Cook, and this is going to be my first video for my 2024 growing season. So I'm going to be uh, making, you know, several videos this year showing exactly how and what I do to grow my pepper plants. If you've been following me, or if you haven't been following me, you see some of my uh, my videos from the 2020, 21, 22, and 23 growing season. You can see that I've been pretty successful at growing pepper plants. So I want to show exactly what I do from start to finish, starting with seeds. So I've had people ask me, uh, uh, you know, questions on how to grow. You know, I am definitely uh, no teacher. You know, I'm no expert, but I know what I have to do to at least be successful. And uh, the things that I've been doing has been working very consistently for me. So uh, we're going to show you exactly what I do from the start. So right now, uh, we're starting out with seeds. I just pulled my seeds out. Now, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have a place to live after July this year. So I don't want to get in over my head on germinating. Like, uh, usually I'll be germinating up to like 120, 130 seeds. So I need to be take it easy this year. Um, so right now, at the moment, I have decided to choose five of my 19 varieties of uh, peppers, pepper seeds that I had. Um, I got the uh, most popular ones, so you'll see I got these abbreviated. So, uh, well, okay, I'll show you these. I got Chocolate Bootla, Carolina Reaper, Chocolate Primatelli, Red Primatelli, and Red Ghost. So, I want to show you what I had gotten um, to do this. So, uh, this is, um, first thing I do is uh, I have these seeds in these little tiny cups. You can get these from Walmart because the uh, first step and what I do is a process called scarification. So I learned that it was very beneficial to do this. And what it does, the whole point of it is to soften the shell of the seed. Because you'll, um, I know from personal experience, from finding out the hard way, um, that I should be doing this. Because if that seed, when it goes to germinate, when roots start coming out of that seed, if the shell is hard enough, it is not going to want to let go of the little baby leaves that are growing inside of the shell. And what will happen is if that shell stays on those two little baby leaves too long, uh, it'll kill the seedling. Or sometimes you can actually like use your fingernails or something and pull the shell off of them and it'll, you know, reveal and expose those two little leaves. But often you will end up accidentally ripping the whole top of the seedling off. And that, you know, that obviously kills the seedling. But if you do this process, this will vastly increase your chances of having a successful germination. Um, so the whole point of this would be to, um, where I, what I have is, uh, it was recommended to use black tea and, uh, I believe I learned this one actually, originally I heard this on the, uh, Puckerbutt Pepper Company's, uh, website. When I was a brand new grower, I was looking at every resource I could for advice on how to grow pepper plants and, uh, he recommended the scarification process. So you simply you just buy any old black tea and I've used many different, black teas in the past. Oh, I got this box upside down. Um, I actually went to, I guess I got this one from Kroger, but I've gotten a whole bunch of different uh, black tea brands and they all work just the same. So what I had done was I boiled, uh, this is approximately like uh, two cups worth of water. I boiled that through the tea bag in there. Now that tea bag's been sitting there for at least 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, um, I have that cup right there full of the tea and this is and this is all really hot this cup on the other hand uh this is water so i actually got to find something to pour a lot of this tea into so what i'm gonna do i didn't even think this one through <laughs> all right so what we're gonna be doing is i'm going to be pouring half of this tea out i'm gonna get the bag out of there first i'm gonna pour half of this tea out and then i'm gonna replace it um, well, uh, it'll be a little more than half the water. I'm going to replace it with this, uh, cold water. So you're going to have a, uh, a diluted cup of tea, and then I will be pouring them into these cups. Um, I don't know if I showed you yet, but I have exactly, uh, five seeds in each one of these. Now, all the past seasons, I have grown a heck of a lot more of each variety in a lot more varieties. But like I said, I don't know if, uh, I'm going to have this place anymore, and I just don't want to be... Uh, head over heels with uh, tons of pepper plants that I'm going to have to take down, you know, if the uh, landlord, you know, ends up having me move out. But 
Anyways, I got five of these seeds in each one of these. So, first things first, what we're going to do is let's take this uh, I'm going to take this tea bag out. We're just going to discard that in there. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to pour half this out into here. So, it's just, oh, a little bit more. It's halfway right now, but a little bit more. So now we're down to uh, less than half of this cup, and we're going to replace it with really cold water. And that will help cool down the temperature of this uh, tea. I'm going to feel this with my finger. That's actually good. That, uh, that worked out just fine. So, so now what I'm going to do is, let me move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. So this is... Uh, this is just barely lukewarm right now, and that's perfect. I don't have to worry about harming the uh, seeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spoon again, and I'm going to use it like a little ladle, and I'm going to pour. Uh, uh, you don't have you don't have to fill this thing up, you know, with the tea. You just uh, have to have enough in there to, uh, you know, have the uh, the seeds submerged. Sometimes you'll find that the seeds, some of the seeds might float, some of them might stay in the bottom. Um, don't freak out if you see them uh, sink to the bottom and end up looking darker. Uh, the, the tea, the color from the tea, uh, may uh, cause the seeds to look a little darker. That does not mean that they rotted or died. They're just fine. They always still grow out for me. So, that's what I'm going to do. One. You'll get to see uh, as soon as I'm done doing this. Alright, so, you can see that. See, that's all the tea that I'm putting in there. It's just enough... Here, let's, uh, I want to make sure you can see this. So, see, that's just barely any in there, but it's enough to, uh, for the seeds to float in there. I mean, that's all you need. The, the, the seeds just have to be in tea. You don't have to have a full, uh, fill the thing up. And I like these, use these little cups instead of gigantic ones. The big ones just take up so much space. And, uh, and so we're going to go ahead and, do that for the rest of these as well. I mean, I'm just right now. I'm just using the spoon instead of pouring it in there because I don't want to make a big mess over here. Because if I start, you know, pouring it in like that, um, I don't want the little cups to end up moving around from getting hit with water and you know, water going inside. And I don't want the uh, water to start running down the cup onto the floor, you know, from pouring it. So it's the only reason why I'm using a spoon. You know, you don't have to do it exactly like this. You just need to get the uh, tea in there. All right, we got all that in there. All right, just so you can see. I just have that little bit in each one. So that way all the seeds are in at least that little bit of tea. So uh, now, if you've done research on, uh, on how to uh, scarify whatever some people will say have them in there um no less than 12 hours some people will say 24 48 um i've had uh complete success with uh seeds even having them in there as short as only 12 hours you know just leaving them in overnight and then uh you know wait a couple hours after you wake up in the morning and then you can sow them or you know they'll they'll survive they'll survive up to 48 hours um, I don't know how much longer the seeds can uh, survive staying in that uh, tea. I mean, that is, uh, I believe that's tannic acid that's contained in that tea, and that's what helps soften the shells. Uh, if you leave it in there too long, obviously, you know, it can penetrate um, penetrate into the seed and possibly kill it. I don't know that for a fact, um, but I wouldn't leave them in there more than 48 hours. So right now it's uh, almost 8.30 p.m. my time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be just setting those cups up into my grow box. I'm going to have to clean this whole thing out. This is actually just something I decided to do on the fly. I remembered uh, I need to get this stuff uh, started here soon. So I will have to remove all that. This is my grow box. This is where I raise my uh, pepper plants. I'm just going to be setting all these cups up here. And you could put, like, uh, if you're worried about dirt and nasty stuff getting in them, um, you could put anything you want to cover the tops of them. So I'm just going to be tearing a couple pieces of uh, uh, paper towel and just laying them across the top of the cups. So we'll go ahead and 
We're gonna go ahead and you know what? Let me let me get you elevated real quick. Hang on. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. All right, we're going to see. I've still got my extract right there. That stuff's getting really thick. We're gonna be uh, playing around with that here soon. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna line them up up here. Get them close together. When we go put the paper towel on it, we can lay across the, all five of them. So, here. lay it on like that. And there you go. That's all you gotta do. So, we're just gonna leave that in there and then. Tomorrow, maybe noon or whatever. Uh, so I don't have to go. To, I don't have to leave for work till 3 p.m. tomorrow. So I got plenty of time. So when tomorrow comes, uh, well, when noon comes tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these out, and uh, I will start sowing the seeds, and I will make a video uh, of me doing that, showing you exactly how I do that as well. And I'll have all this cleaned out by that time. And uh, yeah, so this is the first thing you want to do when you're. Uh, uh, when you're uh, growing your seed, uh, pepper plants from seed, you do want to germinate, or you do want to scarify your seeds. It's your best chances that your seeds are going to sprout successfully with, without a hitch. So um, I just I recommend doing this. But anyways, I will see you in the next video, and uh, see you there.